I'm Sean with Televit Conference, and today we are going to go over the setup of our Discerno discussion system. We will locate our engine. This is the control unit that drives the system. It'll be either a CU or a CUR, based on if you have recording options or not. Go ahead and turn around back to where there's lots of different I.O. So you have your, your power input, your four inputs for conference microphones, your links to additional engines, as well as your analog audio in and out. So, for starters, we can get our power and plug that in. Sometimes you need to pull back on the jacket of the power connector to get it to plug in. Next, we have our delegate units. So they consist of a base discussion unit, as well as a gooseneck microphone. So we can take our gooseneck microphone. You may be able to see that there is a little notch in it. So it only has one way it can plug in, that notch goes towards the top of the conference mic. And then you've got a screw down locking connector. On the bottom of the unit, you'll see that there are ins and outs for an ethernet cable. It does not matter which one is in and which one is out, you can plug in and out of either one. So we're gonna do that now using a shielded Cat5 cable. So, demonstrating again, you will see, we'll plug into the bottom of the unit there. Now with this system, it's designed for the microphones to daisy chain in and out of each other. So what we can do is start our daisy chain with this mic. We've got one connected into there, and then we're going to go ahead and plug in to our engine as well to start the chain. Then, what we'll do is we go into the bottom of the unit to the other Ethernet port and add another shielded Cat5 cable. Then we simply bring another discussion unit over and plug a cable into the bottom of that. And you can repeat for up to 20 microphones. Now you can also choose to do what is called an open daisy chain, like this, where at the end of the line I just stop with the cables or you can do a closed loop daisy chain where you can come out of the blast unit and back to the control unit for added redundancy. And as we turn our unit around, you see it's already turned on once the power was connected to it. If it didn't turn on, there is a little power button right here with the power icon. Then from the main screen, you have your volume up and down. And if you have a recording option, there's a recording button over here to start and stop recording. If you do have the recording option, you plug in USB, either flash drive or hard drive in here. There's also a settings menu that we can enter into with these little gears here. That'll be broken down in more detail in future videos. It's also available in the manual. For additional information, you can visit www.televic-conference.com. Thanks.